What about and now the city of Sacramento will soon decide whether to declare a homeless shelter crisis. So if that happens, it could make it a whole lot easier for the city to build new shelters. A similar declaration was actually made last winter at about the same time. Fox 40's Doug Johnson talked with the mayor today. He joins us live in Sacramento with more on what he had to say. Hi, Doug. Hey, Eric and Eric, you know, when you take a look at City Hall at night, you can see just how many people have little other choice but to sleep outdoors. Well, the mayor believes this move will get more people off the streets faster. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg wants to cut through the red tape, which he says is slowing the construction of homeless shelters. We're being very assertive and aggressive about uh, trying to solve this problem through a variety of means. We're experimenting with these efficiency homes, these smaller homes. Next Tuesday, the city council will vote to declare a homeless shelter crisis, which if approved, could pave the way for a plan to place cabin style shelters on private property in North Sacramento. And if we're gonna get to the volume that we need in this community to address homelessness, to address the affordable housing shortage, we need to be innovative. Now what this decoration does is allows the city to get rid of certain environmental review requirements and to change the building code standards so they can streamline construction and get these shelters up faster. It also allows shelters without electricity and restrooms to be built, which technically violate city code. Get around, if you will, some of the state regulations that make it more difficult to build efficiency housing. But Mayor Steinberg says just because they're built quickly, it doesn't mean the shelters won't be safe. Quality must remain the first priority and obviously health and safety first. So we're not talking about shacks here. Now, if this is approved by City Council on Tuesday, that shelter in North Sacramento should be open up and running by April. Reporting live at City Hall tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Uh, Doug, thank you. Uh, skunk is on the mend in.